A trader followed WDV method of depreciation. The book value of asset after 4 years is 24% of original cost. Find the rate of depreciation. A 24%, B 26%, C 32% and D 30%. Written down value method of depreciation. Value after 4 years is 24% of the original cost. We could make use of a formula which says that the future value is equal to present value into 1 minus rate i to the power m. This is the future value, present value, 1 minus i being the rate, rate of interest, rate of depreciation, n being the number of years. Now, let us assume, let us just consider that the present value of a particular uh, asset is rupees 100. So we want to find out what is the future value or rather we know that the future value is 24% of the original cost. So if the present value is 100, the future value is 24. 1 minus rate is what I have to find out. I do not know the rate. Hold to the power. This is after 4 years. This is one way of solving this <coughs> particular problem. Now, in such a case, what do we get? 24 divided by 100, <clears throat> 0 0.24 is equal to 1 minus i whole to the power 4. <clears throat> Therefore, fourth root of 0 0.24 is equal to 1 minus i. 0 0.24, so we take 0 0.24 and do square root and square root. <clears throat> which gives us 0 0.6999 or 0 0.70 is equal to 1 minus i or i is equal to 0 0.30 or 30 percent. Therefore, the rate of depreciation should be 30 percent. Alternatively, we could try all these alternatives and check at what value, if, if the present value is 100, if the depreciation rate is 24, would we get 24 of the original cost after 4 years? <clears throat> the correct answer here would be D, 30%. Loss on sale of machinery is credited to A, machinery account, B, purchase account, C, profit and loss account, D, none. Loss on sale of machinery. Correct answer is A, machinery account. Just to take an example, if we have 10,000 rupees machinery, it's sold at 8,000. The entry is bank account debit. We get only 8,000. Loss on machinery account is debited for 2,000. And what is credited? Machinery account is credited with both the amount received and the loss. So loss on sale of machinery account is credited to machinery account. Cost of acquisition which is yet to be allocated is A. Accumulated cost B. Written down value C. Net realizable value and D. None. Correct answer written down value <coughs> is the cost of acquisition which is yet to be accumulated. Correct answer B. A machine purchased for 2,50,000 on 1 2010 can produce 30,000 units during its useful life. Its estimated scrap value is 10,000. The pattern of production of the next four years is 6,250 units, 2,275 2, units, and 12,000 units, and 2013 it's 3,452 units. The written down value of the machine after the third year will be, we want to find out the written down value of the machine. So what is the depreciation per unit? 2,50,000 minus scrap value of 10,000, that's 2,40,000 uh, divided by 30,000 units. Therefore, this gives us <coughs> 80 per unit. <clears throat> 2,40 by 30 
80 per unit is the rate of depreciation. So after the third year, 6,250 units, 2,275 units and 12,000 units, 6,250 plus 2,275 plus 12,000, 20,525 <clears throat> into 80 is the amount of depreciation that has been charged. It should be 8 per unit, not 80. Therefore, it becomes 1,64,200. 1,64,200. I've written down value is 2,50,000 minus 1,64,200 equal to 85,800. Correct answer should be A, 85,800. Correct answer, 85,800. Please note this was 8 per unit and not 80. <clears throat> The assets which were earlier revalued upward and now revalued downward to the extent of earlier upward revaluation amount should be A. Credited to revaluation reserve, debited to revaluation reserve, C. Credited to profit and loss account and D. Debited to profit and loss account. Earlier revalued upward, so revaluation reserve was created. Asset account debited, revaluation reserve was created. Now they are revalued downward and to that extent the amount of revaluation will be reduced. Therefore, debited to revaluation reserve. Correct answer, option B. Mrs. Daga and company installed a machinery on 1-1-2007 at a cost of 5 lakh. Useful life of the machine is estimated at 10 years. Depreciation is charged under straight line method. In December 2013, they found that the machine became obsolete and could not be used. It was sold for 50,000. There will be, what are the options? A, capital loss of 1,50,000, revenue loss of 1,000,000, capital loss of 1,000,000 or a revenue loss of 1,50,000. Cost of the machinery, 5 lakh. Useful life, 10 years. Therefore, depreciation per year of 50,000. How many years are we talking about? Charged under the straight line method in December 2013. This was 1 1 2007. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 is 7 years. We are talking of 3,50,000 depreciation. They found that the machine could not be used, obsolete and thing. After 3,50,000, 1,50,000 is the book value, written down value and it was sold for 50,000 therefore 1 lakh is the loss. This is a capital loss of 1 lakh. Correct answer should be C. Capital loss of rupees 1 lakh. The cost of an asset is rupees 1 lakh 20,000. The scrap value will be 25% at the end of 10 years. If straight line method of depreciation is followed, the rate of depreciation is A 10%, B 9%, C 8.5% and D 7.5%. So the cost of the asset is 1,20,000. Written down value after 10 years is 25% of 1,20,000 that is 30,000 is the written down value. That means the amount of depreciation over the 10 years has been <clears throat> 90,000. 9,000 is the amount of depreciation every year. 9,000 divided by 1,20,000 into 100 is my rate of depreciation which is equal to 
7.5%. Correct answer D, 7.5%. The amount of depreciation charged under the annuity method A remains. A remains fixed for all the years. B decreases every year. C increases every year. D is recalculated every year. Under annuity method, it remains fixed. Annual amount is the same. Fixed annuity. It remains fixed for all the years under the annuity method.